Hi everyone, today we're going to put together this kit which should end up with something looking like this. Now the idea of this is you put the oil in here, light the burner and it will make the motor spin. So quite a fun little project. I'm actually giving this to someone as a gift um, but I want to put it together for them first. Now it doesn't come with instructions so we're basically just going to have to look at the pictures and try and work it out for ourselves. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all the parts out of their bags so we can see what we've got to work with. So here's all our parts. Now some of them are quite small, like this part for example. So I'd recommend being very careful with the bags. Don't throw them away straight away just in case you like leave a part somewhere. So there's not really that many parts to put together. Um, I'm not sure where to start, probably with these tubes. Although saying that, let's put the oil burner thing in first because that's the easiest of course. So it looks like this one here goes through here. Want to be careful because this is glass. And it looks like it connects onto this little sprocket type thing here. So let's try put that on there. There we go. So you can see if we push that in and out, it's making it go in and out of the tube. That's a good start. I think this is actually going to be a lot simpler than I expected. And we can see that this one here has like this weird shape inside. I guess this is the metal that's going to heat up. And that goes inside one of these tubes. Now, are these tubes all the same? They appear to be. So let's put it in this one and then slide that through here. Okay, good, good. Aha, uh -huh. so in this picture we can see that to connect to this big wheel here, we have to use this little, whatever this is here. Sorry, I don't know the names of all these parts, but you can see that that goes on there, and then somehow connects to this bit. Okay, there we go. So now you can see that both of them pump in and out when this spins. So far, so good. So what are these two extra glass tubes for? I think these must just be spares because they don't show up in the picture. So I guess they give you spare glass just in case one breaks, maybe? I'm not sure. So this pipe or this tubing you can see connects onto here. So let's connect it on. Okay, so I've got the tubing on there. Now where does this bit here go? Can we see in any of the pictures where it goes to? In fact, that's weird because it looks like there's also a tubing coming out of this one. Ah, so that must go in here, which means, okay, so we have to take this bit off. I'm not sure if it's meant to come with instructions, but mine didn't. Anyway, that's okay, we can work it out thanks to the pictures. So we need to take off this little clip thing. This needs to go through here, I believe, is that right? Yeah, and then that's going to go in there. Okay, and that's going to pressurize it. Got it. So let's put this back on. If we can. Uh, oh, it's a little bit tricky actually. There we go, slide that back in, and then, oh, okay, so let's take this, no, that tubing's not going to come off very easily. Um, mm, what's the best way of doing this? We'll pull out that, slide it through, then bring through this tube. It is a little bit fiddly, but... <laughs> You can work it out pretty easily, really. Okay, that goes in there. Reconnect this again. There we go. Now, I think something else is wrong because this one, this tube here is sliding in and out and it shouldn't slide in and out, it shouldn't move. The interesting thing is that this is kind of making a suction, I can feel it making a suction because of course these two tubes are connected. Um, I wonder if you could just put this inside, no of course not. Now I'm guessing that this one here shouldn't be sliding in and out because it's the bit inside that should actually be sliding in and out. 
So what I might have to do is tighten this up so it grips onto this firmer. Um, but for now, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I want to just try and light it first and see if it works before I start messing around trying to put this in there tighter. Now, I don't have any alcohol or methylated spirits or anything like that to put in this oil burner. And I really want to keep it looking new anyway. So I'm just going to use this candle here. Now, from what I've read in the reviews, it will take longer using a candle like this, but it should work. So let's go ahead and light the candle. Now, this might make the tube a little bit black, but they do give us two extra ones, so I can swap it out or just wipe it off. I do want to get it working before I give it to them because it might require a little bit of fine tuning. And the candle's a little bit low, so let's raise it up on some cardboard. Now, the idea is that the flame will heat up this tube, the pressure, the air pressure will build up, which will push it out, and then it should turn this to spin. That's the idea anyway. And while that's heating up, I'm actually gonna use a pair of pliers to tighten up the bolts on the other side to try and keep this glass tube from moving around. So that tube's now in there nice and tight. Let's try and give it a spin and see if it starts. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was really good. Let's try again. Oh, I like that, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that, that's awesome. This will make a great gift. Imagine having this on your desk at work. If you get bored, just light it up and give it a spin and it's really interesting to watch. That's awesome, I love that. Well, if you couldn't tell already, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. You can see that now the candle's gone out. It's actually still working a little bit, I guess because the tube is still so hot, but it's not running quite as smooth. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that. So yeah, if you couldn't tell already, I'm very, very impressed with this. It's such a unique gift, and it's actually quite easy to put together. I wish it came with instructions, but it's not really that big a deal. If you want to find it yourself, you can go on Amazon, and you can see it's called the Muhu Mini Air Sterling Engine. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.